everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another video i'm going to show you how i make a diy hand wash for sensitive skin now all my life i've been obsessed with washing and sanitizing my hands and feet frequently and right after pandemic the habit has kind of increased since i have two really small babies at home right now and excessive washing and cleaning led to excessive dry itchy irritated hands it the irritation started from my uh, from my fingers and went down till my elbow and it was so bad that i had to consult my dermatologist and he kind of recommended me this soap recipe which i'm going to show you today and i use it for multiple things like i sometimes use it to cleanse my makeup brushes beauty blenders sometimes i use it to wash my handkerchiefs and it is very cost effective and you can use three types of soap which is uh, one is uh, johnson's baby second one is pears and third one is i guess dove i'm going to take johnson's baby because i love the fragrance it's just so cute and you can use any of any one from the three given choice yeah so without any further ado let's get into the process and show you how i make it all you need is 500 ml of purified water for 75 grams of soap, glycerin, an empty pump bottle, knife and a spoon. I'm gonna slice the soap in thin pieces so that it's easier for me to melt it while boiling. It is important that the soap melts completely in the water so that you get that nice thick hand wash consistency. Occasional stirring will melt the soap quickly. Now I'm gonna switch off the induction because the soap has melted completely. Then I'm gonna let it cool down to room temperature. Now I'm gonna add 2 teaspoons of glycerin and give it a nice mix. DIY recipe helpful and I'm sure if you follow the step-by-step -step process like how I showed you you'll be able to make it too because it was so easy and it is cost-effective at the same time two reasons to make it and it also helped with my skin problem again another reason to make it and yeah I've been noticing a few things when last time I uploaded a video after a year's gap I got so many appreciation from you all especially on my Facebook um, and Instagram too, I got bombarded with messages and it. I'm so thankful and glad that um, you all still remember me after a year's gap and uh, 
what i really want to say is that these videos really take efforts to make and sometimes it takes me days to edit the videos because i'm still in that you know learning phase and i have two babies to look after at the same time and again i'm going to editing so it takes me days to edit the video so it i would really appreciate if you support my channel and you know subscribe because what i've noticed is I've been getting a lot of views on my videos but not the desired subscribers and not been getting subscribers and YouTube have certain standards you know like uh, they will only um, focus on your or maybe recommend your video when you have certain number of subscribers on your channel so i would really appreciate you know if you um, you know like my videos and at the same time like only if you like my con content there's no force but if you really like my video please do like give a thumbs up on my video and subscribe to my channel now i know when i upload the link on my facebook or my instagram sometimes what happens is when you click on that link and go directly on my youtube page it asks you to sign in to like or subscribe to my channel so what you can do is go on the youtube app type twinkling stars and search my channel and go and subscribe that way you can easily subscribe to my channel and it won't ask you to sign in and when you subscribe to my channel also press that bell icon below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video on my channel yeah that's all for today guys i hope you liked my video today and i hope it helps you too to get rid of your dry itchy hands i'll come up with a video like this next week until next time stay tuned